Listen. It's about to be day sh night shift for me. 800 miles left to go. Already got the new load. It's the next day. Some uh, crazy other stuff was happening in, in our lives. And I couldn't. I was woke up. So. I'm going to be hitting night shift tire. How to hit the night shift tire. Listen. Number one. You know. First thing is just hit it head on. And don't over, don't over put it in your mind that you're gonna be super duper sleepy. Don't, don't like you're, you're it's gonna, you're gonna make it worse than it actually is. That's number one. Number two, don't eat heavy. Listen, don't bomb on them. Go ahead give me Waffle House right before I start my shift. You gonna, you don't ruin your shift, bro, because you are gonna be tired. So what I do, I eat, I eat the little crackers and hummus. That I eat something small, light. I, I take my one meal a day and turn it into three, um, into three, into three small little bits. Hold on one second. Oh, Jesus, you interrupted my, my my video right now. I didn't mean to do that. Relax. You on fire right now. That's right. I said it. Let's start. I'm gonna sit this mouth hold this big ass camera up the whole okay. time. Like I was. But like I was saying, man, when you when you doing it at night, don't eat too heavy. See, I'm about to start my night shift tired. I'm not really tired. I just done got the efficient sleep that I would want. So I'm I'm in that thought process of oh it's gonna suck and uh how much fuel you got uh just a little smidget under a quarter teeth how far is the next truck stop pass here because i really don't want to feel here oh um well we're 61 miles away oh, just drive on out there Gucci. Uh. oh is that you know me yeah, there we go for the thug. Loves is 27 miles. Ooh. Ooh. Pilot Ooh. T8. Oh, there's T8 30 something miles. We still got that's still good fuel in there. We can still burn on that a little bit. Okay. It can be time enough to do a little video. Alright. Um night shift. When you're tired. First of all, don't go in there thinking that you uh it's the end of the world that you didn't get the, the amount of sleep that you really, really wanted. That's part of the game in life. Some nights you're gonna have to drive, you know, not at your best. Number two, I gotta watch the road with you rookies. Why are you calling that? You a rookie, it. nigga. Don't I'm gonna do call it. you what you is. Don't. You don't make me cuss on my video, dog. <laughs> Dang, I'm gonna have to cut that out, dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, bro, but she be, yo, she be really getting, like, picking on me, son. I'm the, vi what is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Old oh, head, bro. That's just that late for work run through. Stop at the strip club. I need to get a couple twenties out of there and some some chicken wings. Why are you in my frame right now? Don't, this is my frame. You are so. Can I work? You're so extra. Can I work? Ah, oh, you're not even working. I'm doing your. Yo, I'm doing your shift. You're definitely not doing my shift. You're like, definitely not doing my shift. You drove a hundred miles today. Like, I drove a hundred miles. Chill. I drove a hundred miles. What I do last and night? Time driving out, in the middle little, of the night. Time and everything. Out, time out. This low is 243 miles, and I'm taking it there. So how's that a hundred miles? So you, you drove 240. You never want to get a woman a credit. You drove 240 miles. Oh my God! How did you make it? Wow, because that and that Darling, is, you're missing chances where you turn and get down the road. Because you over here talking to me. Can, can you look out the barrier so we can go down the road now? You're right. Jesus, Joseph, man. And also, I'm trying to be, get, get some drip, drip to y'all. And this is what I'm going through. I just want y'all to see what I'm going through. Where was I at? Um, no, because if you, you do that. No. Yeah. You may be tired. Don't eat heavy. I'm telling you, bro, don't Says go. the man that had Waffle House. Twice back to back. He gone back to back. It's going back to back. 
Waffle House going back to back. <laughs> I can see this not gonna work. This not gonna work. <laughs> you you messing up my sermon and stuff, baby. You got to pull out, y'all. Oh Dang, God. Jesus Christ. Just well, keep we... keep inching forward, my teachers. Keep all inching right, forward. Right, right, right. Eventually they'll stop. Okay, there you go. See, see you learned something today. See, that's why. That's why I want you. Okay, and that's thank you. Anyway, don't eat heavy. You about to start your night sh night shift close to the time you're about to start. Don't eat heavy, man. You need to eat. You need to eat light. Get off. You need to eat light. What happens is, once you're trying to break that down, your body starts, you start getting what we call the itis. It's a full length name to that, but we don't keep it clean. You start getting the itis, and you start getting sleepy. Your body trying to break down that, that heavy food. Now you're getting lazy. You understand? I just want to lay around. Don't do that. Eat light, peck. You know, get a little peck here, a little peck there. And, and uh, it's like having a constant where you could eat, but you're not really hungry. That would... I don't know who that is. I'm gonna have to wait on that. But listen, where you where you kind of hungry, but you're not hungry, you need to keep it in that situation right there. Okay. Also, don't 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 start the stimulants too early. A lot of y'all first start your shift. Next thing you know, you got a whole cauldron of coffee already. What you're doing is you're messing up your receptors. Cause now you going you going to top out on coffee and it ain't going to work when you really need it at about two in the morning. See what I'm saying? This is why you don't do drugs. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wait on that. Run into the night. Actually give yourself a chance to get tired. When you give yourself a, uh, a kill VCR freaking, uh, call me. Hold on. Let me let them know I'm busy real quick. I'm going to show them a jump. Hey bro. Hold on. Hold on. I'm doing, I'm doing light work right now. Let me get you back. Um, basically, what you're doing is you done messed it up. You ain't give yourself time to feel tired. You know what I'm saying? Listen, try to run run about four hours into it. Run about four hours into it and then get the red beans. You see what I'm saying? When you really start feeling tired, you may find out, oh, man, I can actually, yeah, I don't feel that bad. Like my father, I'll tell you, my father can sleep three, four hours and run a 12 hour shift. I can't, I'm not there yet. I can sleep about five, six and run a 12 hour shift, but I'm gonna be cranky. You understand? I'm gonna be cranky. We don't need anything from the choir. That's I'm, day, I'm sure. I'm gonna be cranky a little bit, all right? That's all it is. Especially when you got woke up and you weren't supposed to be. Who woke you up? Wanna tell who me up? Who woke you up? Want me to tell them who woke me up? Tell the people who woke you up. You want me to tell them who woke me up? Because I already know who woke you up. Who do you? God himself. I ain't got time for your stuff today. I don't got time for it today. God himself. I don't have time for yourself today. He and said, rise, my son. And you did. Be thankful. <laughs> anyway, I, 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 so, I, so I, I got up today and, and now you're in a bad mood and I'm okay. I know how to run the night because I run the room. And if I don't make it, I'm just going to have to wake her up early. Yeah, that's But see, she got to jump on me because she ain't stopping and driving till she about to go to sleep with me. She has a 10 hour window where I can't wake her up. It's called a trick move. Juke city. And that's how they do it. You understand? See, now I've been up. She been BSing, burning my little sleep time. Then by the time, it's time for me to run. Why do you be lying to these people like this? It's time for me to run. Now, I don't need get no time to chill. You see what I'm saying? You got to pay attention and don't forget to mention. All right? I know y'all think I'm out of your trick. And I know I know you do. But we out here running. This load really don't got to be there. But we going to run it tight. We can pick this load up 2 o'clock in the morning. But we not going to. We're going to go there right now. She got out of the, out of the seat. I'm going to run that sucker straight through the night. Bam! Now, this is what we need to talk about right here for this, this right here. You got to drop a hook on both ends. A lot of y'all will... Got to drop the hook on both ends. A lot of y'all will weak thigh me. It's going to take all the time possible. You going to shut down, chill at your favorite place, eat. Shut... What, what is with you messing with? I'm, I swear for Lord, girl. I swear for Lord. Thank you. When you got weak thigh me, you going to shut down, eat, and BS. You understand? And you think it don't matter. I got time. But it does. The cutoff because of the holiday is Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Pause the dramatics. 
which is tomorrow, which means we got to run 800 miles by tomorrow. Eight hundred miles by eight hundred miles by tomorrow. You giving them a glimpse at what you be doing. <laughs> they seeing the abuse. Cause they uh, yo, he thinks it's abuse when I be. It's sucking. sexual abuse. Cause I, I'm trying to do something constructive, when and I you over trying to touch on me. When I be getting him love. Sexual harassment. Love. He don't like the love. I'm gonna get some mates for your ass. <laughs> I don't cut. Good. Good. No. Good. Good. It's not gonna work. It's not. It's not. You got to go. I know. You got to go. I know, because you won't let me love you. No, you, you got to love on me before I'm trying to work. Okay. All right. Do you there. Anyway, as I move on amicably, <laughs> what was I saying? Now you done messing with my train of thought. What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? See, see how he treat me, y'all? What was I Come saying? Come save me, y'all. What was I saying? Come save me, y'all. What was I saying? See how he treat his team driver. I'm done. Let's see, now that the whole video ruined. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> saying. Alright, you talking about you have dropping loads on both sides. So you're gonna Oh, with straight. the weak thigh beat, a lot of y'all don't want to get straight down to the business. You're gonna BS and you're gonna miss your drop-off time. And then you wonder why you check fourteen hundred dollars you leasing. This load could be the difference, because all the bills been paid for this week. So this load is what we call all uh I can't say the P word. It's all satchmo. It's all profit. All sweet meat. All all uh 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 uh, uh sweet bean juice. All butter crunch. All that. It's all money. It go all way. And how much? I'm gonna try to. And, I, and this is another thing too. See, I'm about to help you out. It's the end of the week. I'm gonna help you out with the end of the week. Y'all listen. Gotta listen. Shut up. I'm going piece of fuel my way down the road. See what I'm saying? I'm about to go on my GPS thing and my app. I'm going to look at all the fuel prices from here to where we're going. I'm going to figure out where the cheapest place is at. The first calculation is to get me to the cheapest fuel from where I'm at. So if the cheapest fuel is 130 miles away, I'm only going to put enough in there to get 130 miles away. To get to that cheap fuel, then I'm going to fill up to get from that cheap fuel all the way to where I drop off at. See what I'm saying? So I may put... 800 miles, you know what I'm saying? I may put 270 in there and try and try to do it off that and just keep a close eye on it because every dollar I put in there this late in the game comes straight out of my check. You feel me? So that's why I'm trying to do that. I don't get here and put $700 worth of fuel in that jump and the load only is only going up the street, only pay $30,000. Now you don't cut your profit because you own drills. See, a lot of y'all don't want to hear this stuff. Like, I don't want to hear this stuff, and I, I don't be wanting to give it out. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's real out here. It's real in the field. But what I want you to understand is there's a method to the madness. There's a reason why there's a lease op or, or, or old head or, 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 or dude who's making more money than you because they know what they're doing. And the truth of the matter is you just suck. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I'm trying to get my light right. Mm, mm. That look mysterious. Yeah. You just suck. When there's actual method to the madness, we ain't just out here just slapping fuel in the truck all willy-nilly and everything like that. Just because you got a team, you feel like you you a ball at the fuel island now. I got two shifts, I make it back. That don't mean you gonna blow four, five hundred. Let me say something. If you fueling and not paying attention, you blowing four, five, at a team, you blowing six hundred dollars a week in fuel. That's a fact though. If you was by yourself, it'd be three. But if you have a culture of teaming whatever you want and however you want and how much you want, and the person you with has that same culture, what you end up doing, y'all gonna blow the same amount. You gonna blow six, seven hundred dollars a week in fuel burnage, just wasted money, wasted. You wasted the money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't respect what I do, do you? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, I'm switch the bone and talk about that. Wait, what? You don't respect what I do. <laughs> Be real, man. Just come out and see it. I literally am tired. I am struggling, man. Now I got my money out you this, this time. Huh? Well, I mean, I'll tell you one thing. Like you said, like the sleep, man. I mean, I seen a comment on the video prior, and he was like, taking the nine hours, so you can go and take that good, uh, that good hour out of the 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
done. <laughs> That's a fact. I mean, that ain't a bad idea, though. No, not at all. I know a lot of dudes who stop and do nine hours. Yeah. They, well, you know, so a lot of dudes, they old and lonely. So they'll they'll stop and do eight, nine hours because they want to go inside in the morning and talk to Martha and stuff at the, at the counter. Well, um, you know what? It's, it's, and another thing is, like you said, taking in certain things during your shift. Um, that can also be a mental thing, too. Trying to eliminate anything that's negative, anything that could be detrimental. Ooh, because the negative stuff will come for us yeah. today, boy. So, yeah. It's, yeah Sheesh. I mean, if you can kind of take in something that is positive, a little uplifting, or... You know, another thing I've been doing lately is just not doing... I'm not... I don't listen to anything for, like, good 15 minutes. Like, I'll just wake up and just, just listen to... Just a day to, of silence. Yeah, I'll just, like, listen to the hum of the truck. You get a lot of stuff... A lot of... You think through a lot of things when you do that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, I've been doing that lately. Sure. Yeah, so, I mean, that's not a bad idea, man. Uh, you know, try to do an hour of silence. A flat hour of silence, man. And really think through what's going on and stuff like that. That stuff, that does help, man. Cause, because if they, what you end up doing, you can come out here and be over-entertained. Yep. When you're over-entertained, what you'll realize is, five years later, you ain't learned nothing. And you've been sitting in a seat and had time to learn a bunch of stuff, and you ain't learned nothing. That's why it's sad when a trucker says, the only thing I know how to do is drive a truck. That's sad, bro. You drive a truck 25 years, the only thing you gotta do is drive a truck. I mean, you didn't listen to nothing of any type of intellectual value your whole career. 25 years of mess. Jigabooing. Sugar cooning. Marmalade scooping. Marmalade scooping. That's all you was doing. That's my favorite. I bet, I bet you it is. I've never tasted marmalade. Is it good? It's delicious. We got to get some of that so I can do the picture. Okay. okay. I knew he would cool. He look, he eat marmalade. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take you to tea time. Tea time? Yeah. They have Yo, like... I'm a thug in the streets. Don't, don't put that out. No. I don't do tea time. All right. We're going to do it. I'm a Kool-Aid, bro. Okay? okay? So, I ain't doing no tea time. Right. I don't even drink tea. Mm -hmm. I forgot you have to keep your image. So. Image. That's it. I just... Mainline, uh, I don't do no drugs. I don't even know the no drug to tell you the mainline. <laughs> I'm saying something stupid. Right. I'm mainline crack. Like, no, what? You really, really got to edit the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, it, it's, it's like I'm applying my revolutionary principles to the team and situation. The fact that we have more time, which means the fact that we have more time and more distance that can be covered every day, it's more not seeing more things I can shave off to be even more profitable. You understand me? That's why I tell you don't do no drugs. And y'all be like, what, that, what one thing I have to do with the other? A lot of these cats out here are on drugs. I'm telling you. If you only knew. Don't be high on your own. It's cats out here in they truck sniffing the cocaine. They out here taking the heroin. They out here smoking the marijuana. They out here. Uh, hey. Uh, bro, I'm telling you. They're taking heavy drugs and we See, get in random let, let stuff like that. This is exactly why people, they're always surprised when something stupid happens. I'm telling you the truth. How you think them cats back in the day was getting through shifts back in the day? It was, man, back in my father's day, it was a bunch of cokeheads out here. Well, I figured that. I mean, but that's what elicited the whole DOT. Yeah, and they right still out here, bro. They still out here. That's because you ain't seen them and know them don't mean they ain't out here. I didn't say that. I just said that I didn't The point is this, that. don't do drugs. Who you get y'all? Who you got to let? Because if you listen to her. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I thought. I got to let you. <laughs> no, I don't even want you to drive. I'll make you crash right now. No, crash. <laughs> crash. <laughs> crash this truck. Kill us both. Then the moral of the story is you don't want no money. You know, I'm not doing videos when you're around no more. Because <laughs> you're like that person in the class that ain't trying to learn nothing. Or the person like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I hope y'all got a little bit of what I was trying to get off of the efficiency and going into the uh, sleep thing and everything like that while her interrupting you and uh, stuff. Cause she owned drugs. You see what I'm saying? So it's a little bit different for her. Wow. No, I'm just BSing for our company trying to piss I, <laughs> I need you to come in on into yeah, the terminal. Cause, it, Cause when they bring you to the terminal for no reason, that's what they do. They piss test. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't. When I used to work at Prime. They'll piss test you. Every time you go to a terminal, it's a chance you get piss test. They'll just stop you right there when they put the fuel in your truck. They'll take your key and they'll do the dude will open the door and be like, you gotta come with me. And he'll piss test you right there. You can't grab nothing, nothing. Well, let me ask you something. What's up with the, uh, you know, when you're in the uh, fuel aisle or whatever, you're in the shop and they put that little like lock on the door. What is that? Like when you're, when they're working on your truck, 
and you cut off your truck and you send it in there, they'll put a lock on your door handle. Did you know that? No. I didn't yeah, know that. They, they like put some type of lock or seal on your handle. Well, I mean, the lockout lock in system is, is you know, it. That's an old system. It's just they're starting to apply it to everything now. It used okay. to be a thing on heavy machinery back in the construction and warehouse days. It's always been there. But, you know, when they don't do that, people...